Good morning guys. I just wanted to shoot a quick video here uh, to show some of you who may be wanting to find a uh, genuine OEM Omega strap and deployant clasp for your model of Omega, whatever that may be. Uh, I've seen a couple of videos and websites out there that kind of point out some different things that give you a red flag, hey this might not be genuine and I, you know, did some research through buying this, ordering this, receiving it. And at the time of this filming, I've already been refunded for this by the eBay seller. I pointed out to him that it is completely counterfeit and he went above and beyond. And I know why he did. He uh, wants to make it go away. But, you know, I wasn't necessarily fooled by the listing or the pictures. There was a couple of things I saw in those that made me curious but it seemed like a great deal not a too great to believe deal so that gave me a little bit of um, confidence in doing it however it's fake I wanted to point out a few things that I've learned and some of these I hope are correct you know some of these I didn't know for myself I just saw on another site or in another video but I wanted to pass it along to you in case you're considering buying one the reason I got this in the first place is I've lately been wanting to find a curved end black alligator strap for my Seamaster. 20 millimeter at the lug, 18 at the buckle, and I was told by Omega there isn't one for this Seamaster 300 that I have to go with the straight uh, edge on the lug. I'm not a big fan of that. I can live with it, but if any of you guys know if there is in fact a black or blue OEM alligator strap with the curved ends that will fit a Seamaster 300. Please, by all means, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. That's really what I'm going for. And, you know, it's hard to find something online that that you know isn't fake. So that's why I got into this in the first place. Um, first thing is the packaging. If you see any of these things run, um, this blue tape was wrapped around the clasp and I don't think Omega would do that. I've since seen some examples of genuine clasps. Uh, they come in a bubble pack, actually. They don't come in this type of Omega packaging. They come in a bubble pack, I would, I would call it. But on the back of that is the very familiar Omega sticker, factory sticker with all the reference and everything. So stay away from anything with this kind of packaging. It also came with an... Uh, uh, spring bar removal tool and some spring bars. I can tell you for a fact these are not Omega spring bars. I've ordered several from them. Those aren't it. There's a very rough, un, unattractive end on this uh, spring bar removal tool because I know that's not Omega. Uh, from the look of the straps, both from the listing and in person, I'm pretty sure these are genuine alligator. They're just not genuine Omega. None of it is. Uh, one of the things I think I learned online, uh, this portion of the strap didn't give me any reason to doubt it other than the fake spring bar in it. Uh, the stamping looks good. Those are the same font, and I'm told that's one thing you look for. Uh, the font must be the same size and font. There are seven holes, and I'm told a lot of fakes have eight. Um, I have not seen one of those with eight, but I haven't looked for one either. So that's that strap. One thing that struck me in the pictures of the listing, I didn't see much of a problem with, you know, this part up here. It looked like it was stamped well. It's not burned like some fakes. It's embossed into the strap. I found it weird that the reference was under the buckle. And sure enough, what I'm told is when you have this reference, um, these two numbers are supposed to be the same font and size and you can see those are clearly not and on genuine articles i've seen always seen the reference more up here toward the lug end not down there and certainly not under the clasp now when we get to the clasp itself that's the best indicator that you've got a fake uh, one video i watched said that you will never see a clearly defined sharp ledge on the front end of one of these clasps. Uh, let me give you the reference numbers uh, before I forget. The reference number on the strap is 9800 
0.0244 and one big red flag was I couldn't find any instance where that did not track to a brown alligator 20 millimeter strap. Every instance I found it was to a brown strap and these are black obviously. The reference on the clasp is 94521806 what appears to be the most common clasp, if you go back a generation from the one they currently have in stores, is the eight, the reference that ends in 1813. Well, this is 1806. I couldn't find a single reference online that led me to what appeared to be a genuine clasp. Every clasp that reference led me to, you knew it wasn't Omega simply by the price. It was in the 40 to $50 range, and I think we all know that's not a genuine clasp right there this thing does not shut well it does not open well it just feels it just feels cheap and it doesn't swing freely it has hang up places where it you actually have to push it to get it to move and then it's got dangly places we will call it <laughs> so just the fit and finish alone lets you know it's not real most of the Omega clasps I've seen like this, it'll be brushed right here. Now this one's polished. I'm not sure if that, I, I'm told that some are fully polished with no brushing. So that may be legit. Uh, I don't want to scare you away from a genuine strap by telling you the wrong thing or clasp. But if you look closely at the bottom right under where it says Omega, you if the light hits it just right, you can see some dimples in the steel trying to catch it out oh, right there those dimples are not an optical illusion those are actual ripples in the steel clear dead giveaway that's not a genuine Omega when you shut it there's way too much space between it the bottom of the clasp and where it's supposed to meet the band so these are all things that show you um, this is fake as I mentioned, I'm already refunded, so I've learned my lesson. Uh, not going to do it again. I'll just get whatever I get from the Omega Boutique, unless I'm on a trusted site that has a verified dealer. The other thing, I didn't notice this till just the end, but it may not pick up here, but the Omega symbol itself right there, if you look really close here in person, it's actually rotated just a hair counterclockwise. It's not straight. And I found it funny that I didn't notice that till I got it home. But whatever. We know it's fake. But once again, I hope this video helps someone out there. If you're looking for something similar to what I am, uh, I hope this helps you out. If you see any of these things, I would automatically assume it's a fake regardless of the price. Most fakes are priced like fakes. This one was not. That was one thing that gave me a little bit of false confidence. And but I didn't I would, I wouldn't have done it had they not had a return policy and perfect feedback. Even that shows you sometimes those things don't necessarily matter. It still could be a fake. So you guys have a wonderful day and I hope this video helps you out. And once again, if any of you have a genuine strap or clasp by either of those references, the clasp ends in 1806 and the strap reference ends in 0244. If you've run across a genuine or have a genuine with either of those, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if you know of a 20 millimeter curved in OEM Omega strap that will fit a Seamaster 300, I would love to hear from you because that's why I got into this anyway. I'm trying to find that and uh, I would love your help if you know. So thank you guys and have a wonderful day and stay, stay smart when you are shopping for Omega OEM items. Goodbye.